right. Back to the hand, Gianluca from Florence, Italy. Yeah, Works hasn't picked up any hands at this table. No. So 10-3 here throws it away. Alessandro with a 9-5. Dolly Parton goes out. So over to Andrea Dotto, the Italian pro, looks down at King-9 on the button. Well, it's nice when people fold in front of you. You think maybe you can pick up a steal here. Decent ham, and he's going to raise with a 50,000. Brownsbeck finally folding a hand. Takes a breather. Well, the Russian looks at an ace four. Great. And he has the good instincts, and he's going to raise with it. Makes it 125 to go. He is going to three bet it here. Now what do you do if you're Andrea? You can't like a king nine offsuit when you've been re-raised. Mm -mm -mm. If you call here and don't hit a king or a nine or some type of straight throw or something, chances are your opponent's going to make a continuation bet and you just throw your hand away, but you just can't give up every hand. But he's going to be a little stubborn, it appears. He's going to make this call. And he makes the call, but he's going to have to hit a king or a nine or some kind of combination because you know your opponent's going to make a continuation bet on the flop, whatever it is. Jack, 7-6 seven, six seven, on the flop. Action's on the Russian, who three-bet pre-flop. He's going to check. Wow. I'm surprised he wouldn't make a continuation bet there. And this is going to give confidence to Dotto, even though Dotto has nothing. Well, Dotto might be putting him on ace high, going to try to take the pot away here. Hope he sticks out a bet of 105,000. The Russian, who let go of the reins, as we say, checked on the flop, gave the Italian an opportunity to pick up that pot, and he did so.